Hey guys, welcome to another lesson. I'm currently on tour through the Netherlands and as you can see we're playing a lot of GTA but that did not prevent me from making another lesson for you guys. Thank you so much for all your comments, your positive feedbacks and for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. So today I decided to make a lesson about important R&B Neo Soul guitar chords. So let's start with the lesson and the first chord I want to show you is the minor 11 chord which sounds like this. And I really like that chord because it has a really open sound, sounds really modern. Um, I'm actually tuned a half step down so it's an A flat minor 11 chord. So that's your normal minor 7 chord. That's the 11 chord. And you play it like that. You play in the fifth fret on the E string, low E string, fifth fret on the D string, fifth fret on the G string, and then you play your 11s on the third fret. The next chord I want to show you, which is in my opinion a really, really important chord because it's really useful for uh, transitions, is the dominant 13 sharp 11 chord which sounds like this so you can play something like that if you have a 251 to G major remember I'm tuned a half step down so it's actually G flat so before I show you the chord let me um, tell you something about the theory behind the chord. Um, there's something in jazz called the tritone substitution. So the tritone is that interval. That's basically a shortened fourth or flattened fifths. And that co that interval was actually um, forbidden back in time because um, it has like a devilish sound. And every time when you have a dominant 7 chord, you can play another dominant, thir uh, another dominant chord on the tritone. So that's called a tritone substitution. So for example, if you have a 2-5-1 to, e to E minor, you can play instead of the B dominant, you can play a F dominant. So something like this. So that's something more like a standard jazz sound. If we go back to the R&B uh, neo soul style, this chord is more important. So if you have a 2-5-1 to G major, for example, again, you can play instead of the D dominant 7, you can just play the on the tritone, the dominant 13 sharp 11 chord. So you play the chord like that. Um, let's play it on G sharp. So you play the fourth fret on the low E string, fourth fret on the D string, fifth fret on the G string, and the third fret on the B string. Last tip for today, a uh, scale that works really nice over the dominant 13 sharp 11s chord is the Lydian dominant scale. So the Lydian dominant scale is basically just the fourth mode of melodic minor. So if you have a G sharp dominant 13 sharp 11 chord, you play D sharp melodic minor. So you create that sound. 